So hey, how's it going? Today we're looking at table search. Uh, you basically have to look at this table and if it has a 15 like that, then you type in true in here and that's it, okay? So I'm thinking we need to basically, first of all, get a row count, get the number of cells. So we just do that, simple row count, okay? Don't forget to put your dots in there. So I've just been looking at this when it's called table search. And they say it's quite hard. So basically you have to look through this table and find out where the value 15 is. And um, the value 15 doesn't exist in this one. So maybe just, just refresh that until we actually get a 15 in there. No 15. Hmm. Okay. Jesus Christ. <coughs> okay, cool. So there's a value 15, okay? And then you, down here you type in true or false. So, what I first tried was, uh, I put a condition in and I said, you know, actually I did some set buffers. And the set buffers was, get the row count and get the column count, okay? I wouldn't recommend this as the approach. And then I had some counters, column counter and row counter. And it looked like this, it looked like a while loop and it basically did an evaluation row counter versus the row count. And then it would go in uh, into its loop and it would basically create a variable. It would buffer the value and then it would have an if. And it was, it was just feeling so wrong at this stage. Uh, I don't like working with ifs and loops like that, you know, it, it's not good for uh, determining the behavior of the test and it's really not good practice. And then we had an evaluation tool in there and if we check if it was 15 and if it was 15, then it would go in and do a click on the result box. And then it would increment. So it would like loop over this kind of stuff. And right now we have all of this stuff and it's just looking through one row and it's really hideous. So I decided I'd just try repetitions. I create a variable over here, repetition with three. It's just a three by three grid. And in here I said if, okay? And the condition was, look at this random table and look at the first column, repetition one, okay? And then do a constraint. If you can find something that has 15 in it, okay? This is really quite clever. It's like doing a select statement, doing a constraint. Then um, go in and hit true. Yeah, so let's have a run of that. It should find the third column. Columns one and column two will not yield any results, but column three, because it has 15 here, it'll give you the required result. The constraint will be true, and then it's gonna click on it. Yay. I'm happy enough with that. Oh, and just to show you what the results look like, you can see in here column one was not found, column two was not found, but column three was found. In other words, it matched the constraint of 15. So then it went in and it did the click on the result of text and typed in true. And what you've probably noticed here is that this will work if we have a 15 in the table. But do you remember what in the earlier screens, the earlier tables, there wasn't a 15? Well, then I think we need to put an else, if then else. No sooner have I stopped recording than I find the necessary, um, to click on the if statement and then go else. So then in here you can put in a little statement that says, uh, click false, result text is equal to false. All right, guys, cheers. This one was a bit of a challenge and it is deserving of its title of hard. All right, cheerio, bye-bye. For those of you, for those of you who didn't believe me, here's a table that doesn't have the, doesn't have 15. Okay, so let's give it a go and see how it runs. It is a bit slow, but I can't do anything about that.
There we go. Happy days.